Here is my top 10 for Binibining Pilipinas 2022 Best in National Costume in a no particular order. Number 10 Binibini 9 Natasha Elema Jong of Marabout Western Samar. This national costume is named Lara and this embodies the soul and the heart of the Samarnon woman as weavers of Banig, the identity of the artistry of Samar culture. Banig weaving is considered to be one of the topmost cultural distinctiveness and creativity of every Samarnon. Spot number 9, Bini Bini 1, Stacy Daniela Gabriel. Featuring a piña silk pechera barong, a fogao weave skirt and belt bag, and arnival soft, juicy train. Adding whimsical delight are the good moral towers ago, embellished gladiator heels, panocle between her knuckles, and even a piso in her ear. Stacy tips her umbrella hat to our valiant Taho warriors for working tirelessly to bring warmth to our bellies. Spot number 8, Bini Bini 17, Chelsea Fernandez of the Global City. Embellished with authentic material produced in Eastern Visayas, her costume is a representation of the Global City. Symbolizing Tacloban's journey towards sustainable socio-economic development as represented by the lighted San Juanico Bridge, the Bridge of Love. For the seventh spot, Bini Bini 2, Christian Moreno of Camarini Sur. Inspired by Amor a la Virgin de Pina Francia, who made of the Bicolanos and wavering faith and devotions to Our Lady of Pina Francia or as we fondly call Ina. The entrelia symbolizes our Ina as Stella, Matutina, or Morning Star, the light that serves as a guide to all of Bicolandia and the Rosary which was meticulously handcrafted to give honor to Mary, Queen of Most Holy Rosary. Spot number 6, Bini Bini 38, Ethel Abellanosa of La Union. This Filipiniana national costume is inspired by one of the most famous attractions in the Philippines, the grape speaking of La Union, grapes farm symbolizing Raina Ubas, Practifera Cosicia, which means queen of the fruitful harvest of grapes. For the fifth spot, Binibini 35, Diana Maki from Nueva Ecija, Mang Gagapas or Reaper. Derived from the rice granary of the Philippines, Nueva Ecija is dressed in a Mangagapas-inspired costume to commemorate the abundance of its rice crop production since the 20th century. It represents the harvest and hard work of our forefathers mowing abundantly, accentuated with Filipino carabao that represents Filipino resilience and diligence. The cultural aesthetic of this masterpiece is found through the rich history of the Filipino people, unhindered, distinct, and diverse. This extravagant piece also represents an enduring illustration of an ancient culture and abundance that surpassed various challenges that set box for posed by modernization. For the fourth spot, Bini Bini 19, Ira Patricia Malaluan of Quezon Province. The Volcan de Agua, Mount Banahao, is considered as holy mountain. A spiritually charged locations where bodies of water like falls, streams, and pond make it the blessed water. As the stories go, the waters from the mountains are said to be an effective cure for illnesses, forecast of fortune, and charm against bad spirits. Far from the lava releasing volcanoes in the country, this silent and sleeping wonder is said to release water and stones whenever it perfectly finds its way to eruptions, unpopular and mysterious yet beautifully destructive and powerful, the embodiment of womanhood who is always ready to conquer. And for the third spot, Binibini 13, Patricia Ann Tan of Masbati City. This national costume gives pride and pays homage to the Rodeo Masbatenio Festival. It portrays a take on the rural countryside, lifestyle of Masbati City's unique and rich culture. The cowgirl-inspired costume with the Filipiniana sleeves made of twine and rope usually used in rodeo, showcasing the strength of a modern Filipina. 
for the second spot, Binibini 30. Jasmine Lynn de Makulangan from Albay. This costume represents the Albay Tourism logo, brought to life through a mythical Ibong Adarna filled with colors, power, and pride. As colorful as the rainbow are the native people of Albay. I walked in this masterpiece with confidence and encourage everyone to indulge yourself in a warm Albay. And for the first spot, Binibini 7, Graciela Shane Liman of Oriental Mendoro. This Tikbalang national costume is fashioned with intertwined branches of the baliti tree that forms the horse head and butterfly sleeves, and hugs the body down to its hooves to conceal the creature's looming presence. Sheets of translucent ghostly white fabric are decoratively draped as its big willing mane and tail that dance with the wind as it lurks in the shadows. The body is adorned in lace with white pearl and rhinestones flickering like diamonds that will captive anyone who may glimpse at this elusive mythical creature. Who's your bet? Pinipining Pilipinas 2022 Best in National Costume Competition.